amigos! I am here to do another 25 cent bin thrift haul, but before I show you what I got for 25 cents, I wanted to go and show you some miscellaneous things that I did happen to stumble upon while I was there. As you guys know, I have been on the lookout for a mug for the longest time, and not just a regular mug, like one of those big Saz mugs, because I like my coffee, I like my tea, and I like a lot of it. This is a really cool mug. Uh, it has here all or most of the plays represented by Shakespeare. So, of course, there's Othello, Hamlet, you know, the ones that are well-known, Macbeth, and I believe it says 1564 to 1964. So I'm not sure what that represents. It says here that William Shakespeare was born in 1564, and then this is the... It was designed by the 1964 Shakespeare Anniversary Council. So that's pretty cool. It has the years on the inside. So, and again, I love how big this mug is. This was 99 cents. Next thing that I have, and this is going to be for my brushes. It's a cylindrical type of, oh, there's my fee. It's a cylindrical glass base, sort of, and this is 49 cents. I can just give it a clean, put my brushes, and make it so that high fee. Yeah, perfect to put my brushes in. Next three things are actually 19 cents. They are mason jars. So I bought three of them. And as you can see, they are painted gold. So I'm guessing a wedding happened or something so that, yeah, that's why they're painted gold. But I absolutely loved it because I can go ahead and put my brushes in there as well or more of my makeup. And it gives a nice contrast from the glass to the gold, so I really like that. So this was 19 cents each. On to the 25 cent bin. All right, so the first thing that I have is from Maurice's, and this is in a medium, and it is a white, white pair of pants there, and it's almost like a loose fitting. The, the fabric of it is so free flowing. I absolutely love it, and I love that it has these accents of color on the pocket edge. It is pink. Um, a tan and then a teal. It's also on the pocket edge on the back there and it is a drawstring. So yeah, I just love how it fits on me and it's very free flowing, perfect for summer. So this was 25 cents. Alrighty, so the next thing that I have is actually from Nike and it says prepare to dominate. And what I wanted to go ahead and do with this is make a muscle tee. As you guys know, I love making muscle tees. So this is perfect for it. It's a perfect size. And I absolutely love the prepare to dominate um, wording. Alrighty, the next thing that I have is an Old Navy and it's a large. It is a pink cardigan there. It is a long sleeve cardigan, and then it has ruffles on the top edge of it. I'm not sure if I like the ruffles on the edge. It just makes it look really wrinkly, but um, I can work with it. The next thing that I have is from MW, and it looks like it's a JCPenney brand. So you guys, it's a different type of style. It is a jean jacket and it has here little sewn in patterns. There's flowers, butterfly, more flowers. In the back it's a little odd. It has like sports. So there's tennis, football, and skiing. So I'm not sure what this represents, but I like it. It's something different and it's a jean jacket. So um, yeah, I can go ahead and work with that. is actually a scarf. You guys can never be pre be too prepared for winter and it is this dark forest green and dark blue. Not much more I can really say about it but I just love how big it is and how just perfect for like bundling up for, for winter time. Okay the next thing that I have is from Trussix and this is a medium and it is just one of the basics. It is a gray long sleeve and the neckline I love because it is one of those that isn't choking you or it feels so restrictive at top. And I also like that there's a pocket. And yeah. that 
I have is by Cheung Hing Fashion. Not sure, I've never heard of her, but it is a green and white polka dot skirt, and it is a um, past your knee skirt, a little bit past your knee, and it is a really nice, like, skater type skirt. What I like about it is the back it has a um, corset type of look. Uh, this is supposed to be the back, but you can also wear this in the front. I'm going to go ahead and style this and show you guys how I want to wear it. Alright, the next thing that I have is a Hurley in size 7, and it's just shorts. It is blue and white shorts. Uh, the material is not jean. I don't know, but it has pockets in the back. And Hurley is a skateboarding brand, so. The next thing that I have is jeans. This is Seven for All Mankind in the size 30. I'm a size 27, 28 in these types of jeans, so it's a little bit bigger on me, but yeah, it's a really nice worn in jean. It's a big bell bottom on the bo on, on the bottom, so maybe I'll hem it and make it almost like a boyfriend type of jean, but I, I you can't go wrong with that. I love the wears on it. That's another thing I like about thrift store jeans is that it wears perfectly where you want it to wear. Well, that wraps it up for my 25 cent bin thrift haul. Let me, I don't know where my receipt is. So uh, let me just go ahead and quickly calculate this. So subtotal is $4.25 and then plus like a dollar and something tax. So about $5, I'll say it's about $5 and 25 cents. I, I can't find my receipt, so. Okay, well, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos by me, go ahead and click the red subscribe button. It would totally make my day, and I will see you guys later. Bye!